What's going on guys? It's Justin here with Summit Racing and we have a special guest in our studio today. We have Aaron from SE Gasket to talk a little bit about their head gasket line and some of the cool stuff they make. And they literally have a gasket for everything from mild to wild. So how are you doing today, Aaron? Good, how are you? Thanks for having me here, Justin. Oh yeah, like I said, we always like having guests in the studio. It's always a good time to talk about some of the cool products you guys have and you know, some of the cool, neat stuff we can get here at Summit Racing. So if you just kind of want to, you know, run us through what SCE Gaskets is all about, you know, how you guys started, that kind of stuff, and then we'll get a little bit into your offering here. Absolutely, SCE Gaskets. Uh, well, Dad started the company back in Grandpa's garage, working with blown gas, uh, purebred racing engines. Then it started working with Rob Flynn, Bob Newberry in the top fuel ranks, copper head gaskets there. Started working down where, as Pop always says it, started offering gaskets from the hat to the pan so we could cover everything. But then it trickled out from your purebred TFX blocks out to big block Chevrolets, small block Chevrolets, your Ford applications, everything. Um, and today here we have a full offering of head gaskets from copper head gaskets to MLS gaskets. That's awesome. So you guys literally have a gasket for just about everything, not only in the racing world, but you know, average daily drivers too. Absolutely. Daily drivers, whether it's your domestic parts or domestic cars, domestic engines, platforms, uh, your European, your Japanese, we've got everything for it for you. Um, your standard MLS gaskets here, where it's a three layer MLS gasket, we apply a pr proprietary coating to the outside and inside of the outer plates. So this gasket's gonna handle anything from a naturally aspirated rebuild to a uh, mild street performance, say something up to 7, 800, 900 horsepower. Then we've got our MLS Spartan with gas stopper. This gasket's pretty trick. Same application, you could easily put it on, on a naturally aspirated rebuild, but we've got an inner layer called a semi-layer where it's got a gas stopper where it's folded over right here at the bore's edge. and. At SCE Gaskets, we are constantly developing these things. We're not content with simply just saying, well, it's done, move on to the next application. We're revisiting applications when we learn of new technologies. Coatings here you can see are different. Those coatings are specific for these two applications, this one being a gas stopper, this one not. Um, then we move to the Vulcan cut ring, which I know is a pretty hot product. A lot of customers are talking about it, doing all sorts of cool things with it. Got yes, any experience? This, is, um, this is definitely race car stuff at the, you know, as, as we've moved in, LS stuff has got big and became, you know, the driving and performance. These multi-piece head gaskets have kind of been a big thing. And especially with these rings and deals here, like that's when you're making all the boost, you need all the ceiling power possible. And that gas, this gasket really makes that possible. So you want to run us through how, how this works and kind of the, the real magic that works behind this gasket and what makes it great. Yeah. So, so the Vulcan cut ring is exactly like you described it. It's five separate pieces. If we pick up the gasket body, it falls apart, right? So when the customer gets the gasket body, he's going to he's going to see it's a composite gasket body. Kind of old school, right? But it works. Us in the gasket industry, we understand what does and doesn't work. Some people have asked, "Well, why not with an MLS gasket body?" Well, we want a solid stainless steel ring to locate all the clamp load. So this composite gasket body is a little bit taller than the ring, it compresses down, and that way it will recover with heat cycling. So as the motor cools down, you fire up your, your street car that's got a 1500 horsepower, now that's not uncommon anymore. Uh, the following morning, get ready to drive to work of all places, or you fire it up the morning of race day, you want that thing sealed up. This composite gasket body is gonna do that. These solid stainless rings have three micro ridges that bite into the cylinder head flat on the block side or sleeve side, if it's an aluminum application, these things lock into the cylinder head. And being solid, once we clamp this thing down, your clamp load hits those rings and stops. And we locate all the clamp load there. That way we have a nice even balance that 70, 60, where we got, or 70, 30, I'm sorry, where we've got 70% of the clamp load on our combustion seal, 30% spread across the body of the gasket. We've got silicone bead seals both sides to make sure everything's locked in for a nice, sealed up setup. Um, big common question we get with these things is what machining is required? Same machining you do with an MLS uh, Spartan head gasket. Nice clean flat deck surfaces, 40 RA or better, that thing's ready to rock and roll. Um, common applications we hear about guys with a Corvette where they, they throw a new set of heads on or they, or they get their heads ported, but you know for a fact that they're going to come back and they're going to throw a turbo on this car within a few weeks or maybe a year or two. That gasket is kind of that future-proof gasket. See it commonly in the BMW guys. They do it all the time. 
So we're always adding applications here. We've got the LSX here. We've got the late model LT1, LT4. We've got the LS. We just released the small block Chevrolet. We just released the big block Chevrolet. Small block Ford's coming out real soon too. And on down the, the line we go. Yeah, so those, like I said, this, this head gasket is kind of the proof in the pudding and speaks for itself when it comes to the latest and greatest in high performance technology. And it's really cool to see you guys innovating this and, you know, making it available for all sorts of race applications. Yeah. So then we have my personal favorite head gasket on the end. And, you know, this is a, when you're putting party or copper head gaskets in, you know it's going to be a party. This oh, is, yeah. um, this is the big bad boy stuff. Like, like you had said earlier, it's, that's hardcore. This was hardcore race technology back in the day. That's now super common in the automotive world. So you kind of want to go over the copper head gasket and talk about, you know, what the benefit of this is over kind of everything else and, and why guys still use this technology that was, you know, made 40, 50 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. So. To, to give you a quick transition, we go from uh, street performance, uh, mild race performance, so say uh, eight, 900 horsepower, we go to a gas stopper version of MLS Spartan, say up to 1500 horsepower, then we go to a Vulcan cut ring, and on a Coyote, we've seen 2000 horsepower, uh, on an LSX, we've seen 2300 horsepower. Now, hang on, don't, don't give me on the Ford and the Chevy war, there's something to be said for displacement there. Um, then we get over to Pro Copper, and Pro Copper, um, I'll say this, too often we see guys see it run in the racing pits and they want to run it on their street car. We have other options for that, please. Uh, the Pro Copper head gasket is for your absolute kill motors. Like we are going pro mod racing, we're going top fuel, blown alcohol, big turbo stuff. Like we want to seal up the head gasket and maybe if we seal up the head gasket, we might throw the crank on the ground. That's what your copper head gasket's for. We do have three versions of it. So we did try and make it uh, more user friendly. We've got our standard classic pro copper here where it's just a flat copper head gasket. Absolutely, this gasket needs some sealant sprayed on it, top and bottom. Um, any kind of an aerosol spray can sealant works really well. Light spray, again, I emphasize light. Too often we see guys put too much sealant on there and I remind them of, Think of eighth grade science class where we had a plate of glass, we put a drop of water on there and we put another plate of glass on that. How big that drop of water got? Well, when we use a thick viscous seal silicone on there, it's really not a good, good combination. But this gasket requires stainless steel O-rings machined into your block or head. We prefer to see them seated in the aluminum head. And if you want to go even more, you'll, you'll machine a receiver groove in the block. So the O-ring will bite into the copper and push that copper down into the groove in the block. That creates a super lockdown seal. Now we have a Titan series where you'll see it's got red silicone bead seals on here, still requires an O-ring. Then we have our ICS series de uh, denoted by, uh, by an S prefix. That's got an actual built-in combustion seal. It's going to seal equivalent horsepower to say our MLS line. And that's, that's basically the, the full offering of, of co composite head gaskets or composite head gasket body Vulcan cut ring that seals huge horsepower. MLS with your street ready, uh, your race ready to full kill. That is super awesome. You guys have a head gasket and a gasket for just about everything. And just like us here at Summit, you know, we like to have something for everything you drive. And SEE gasket has a gasket for just about everything you drive. So be on the lookout for their products. And, you know, I can't wait to see what you guys put out in the future as you're innovating and kind of making, you know, head gaskets better. Yep. So thanks for coming, coming on, talking to us, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you.